Whale sharks are the largest fishes on Earth, and they feed on the smallest of animals, zooplankton. They can grow up to 60 feet and weigh more than 25 tons. To give you an idea with a size comparison, an elephant weighs around six tons. The dorsal surface of their bodies are covered with distinctive colors and spots unique to each animal. During the course of nearly three months of diving in Galapagos, we got to go to Darwin and Wolf Islands once a week, and there was a new set of animals there about every two weeks that migrated through. And we knew this because of the different spots and the different scars on their body. They were all females, and as the summer progressed, the animals got larger and larger. By the end of August, the females were 60 feet long. I'll never ever forget my first dive with a whale shark. I was with a guy who is a professional photographer, and we were waiting and waiting and waiting on the reef's edge to look for a whale shark that you'd see like a shadow in the distance. And sure enough, one was coming, and we swam and swam and swam out to it, and just as I was about to roll tape, I saw my buddy give me the out of air signal. Oh my gosh, I was so mad. Whale shark, out of air, I helped my buddy out. And then on my last dive, I'll never forget either. We all decided to actually leave our cameras on board and we had nine different sightings. I was with Carol from New York, I'll never forget that. And it just seemed like we'd swim with one, it would go off into the distance, we'd turn and there would be another one. It was so amazing. Little is known about these animals, but scientists believe there are different populations in different areas. They're tagging them now to try and uncover the mysteries of these animals. They're extraordinarily vulnerable to fishing because there is so much meat on an animal and they are so docile, often coming right to the surface to filter feed. I will never ever forget my time with these animals. I was awed by their presence. We would sit on the reef and just wait and wait and wait for the sign of a shadow in the distance and then swim our hearts out to try and get close, but never touch them. Watch here, a jack is gonna grab a remora out of its mouth. I had no idea that that was gonna happen, but sure enough, I was so excited when I did because right there again, it's the behavior of the animal. I know in the past that you might've seen divers reaching out and touching these animals, but it's really important that we refrain from touching marine life, especially whale sharks, because we can actually damage their skin. I fear that they will disappear. We can't let this happen.